Welcome and thank you for watching our introduction to the all new Color Factory plugin from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. A new dimension of design in Corel Draw, and you'll see that in this video. Working with monochrome, duotone, and tritone image conversion automation and 400 presets in Corel Draw, enabling you to do many things with the monochrome bitmap features that are available in Corel Draw in ways we've never worked with them before. Take a look at some designs here, and these are mixed designs of monochrome, duotone, and vector. Here we have the Renegade design, and this has got a hot rod that was taken from an image with a black background. We take the black of the shirt and we convert this into an inverted duotone with color, and that feature is available or that conversion is available in the color factory. If we look at this design, we've only got two colors, red and white. We take the image inverted so we can play off color of the shirt as the background color. We invert that and use the white against the black of the shirt. And then if I hit Control Z, we'll bring the color back. And you can see that looks just like the image, but it's only two colors. Now, whether you're working with screen printing, direct to garment, sublimation, or any other type of graphic design, being able to take these images and very quickly convert them to low color count, monochrome and duotone images and then work with them and mix them into your designs, you can see very quickly going with just two colors, you're stepping entirely outside of the world of vector. Well, at the same time, being able to design at the photographic level, print at the photographic level, and then go into what's trending, duotone, glitch effects, things like that. All these new modern design effects that we're seeing in graphic design. And if you look at any advertising or graphic design, you're going to see duotones and monochromes and tritones. And now we have all that automated for you in CorelDRAW working with the Color Factory plugin. I'll zoom over here and I've got a Marilyn Monroe design, just two colors. Here I've got an inverted duotone with color, power clipped into a star, and then I've got some glitch effect going on with the monochrome, and then here's her signature. And I was able to do that literally in a matter of minutes, working with the image of Marilyn Monroe with the background, doing the invert, etc. Here I've got a basketball player with a white background. This is a color duotone with color, you can see the effect in design, a mixture of vector and monochrome. Zoom in, we can see what we're doing here. A black monochrome to the front, then behind that we have the duotone with color behind that, and then power clipped inside this vector object, again, is the black monochrome, creating a lot of image contrast and color effects in the design, which is really kind of what's trending in the market right now, as I've said and you can see how that's set up and that's very easy to do working with the color factory. Here we have some other designs and we'll take a look at those. We've got some designs with Marilyn Monroe and we set her up here as the star as we saw at the top. Here's another one with a star and some glitch offset of her and here's one with three images duplicated but with different colors. And down here we have a skateboarder that we took and set up some different fashion style designs with. You might want to have this for creating your retail designs and your retail t-shirts. And here we've got just a basic monochrome against a lighter t-shirt. Here we are playing off the light t-shirt color and the darker monochrome creating a duotone on the t-shirt. And we can see the duotone effect. And then our logo and the skater text. Got more of the same here, but a different look the way we've lined it up, creating the duotone look off of the t-shirt color and the monochrome. Here's one where we took the monochrome and then we power clipped that into vector, did some things, changed the colors, and you can see how this offsets everything and creates a very modern design working with the monochrome that allows us once again to depart from the vector and go into image work and design work and duotone work and really getting contrast and differences with our colors. Zoom out here and here I've got one where I've got the duotone with color and you can see the flesh tone here and then again the power clipped monochrome inside of the vector objects and then here some vector that's got some transparency on it create even more and when you go in there and zoom you can look at the different contrast but everything's lining up so there's a lot going on with the color and the images creating designs that are really unique and totally different from what we're used to working with and seeing in the market. Now here we've got an owl image that we took and here's just the owl and that's only two colors, which is the inverted duotone with color again. Here we've got our color and you can see that down here in the status bar and we cover all of this in the training on how to work with these monochromes, duotones and tritones, which you can see there's the color. That's just a two color design 
working off the black of the t-shirt and we get a very photorealistic look. Not hard to print as long as you can hold half tones. Here we've got the same design working off the dark brown with a different effect and a different color. Here again we've got the owl with some power clip going on into the wildlife sanctuary vector at the bottom and you can see that design. So you can see you can create some really outrageous designs easily and quickly working with the Color Factory plugin. Here we have the Renegade design again. Here we have a different color setup on a dark blue shirt. We've got yellow as the inverted or background color and red in the front. Here we've got like a burgundy shirt once again with the red and the burgundy. And these are all just two or three colors. Great for screen printing and all color separatable based on the fact that we're working with the monochrome bitmaps and working with them in several different ways with entirely new setups of dual tone bitmaps and monochromes and inversions and things like that. We cover all of that in our training for the plugin on the website so you've got a really good background and understanding to work with and you'll be able to work with this very easily. And we can see some different designs here with the basketball design. Coming here to the green you can see we're playing off the color of the green for the highlight in the image and yet it's very photographic and realistic and then we've got our text set up. And to go along with the plugin we have comp comprehensive training on the advanced t-shirts website underneath our tutorials section and here you'll be able to watch video tutorials so you'll be able to understand how to work with the monochromes and the dew tones and all the ins and outs of designing like this and you can design like this because you can very quickly and easily convert your images and we cover things like how to work with the vector objects and the monochromes and the dew tones and everything that you need to know about working with the monochrome and dew tones and the vectors in your graphic design so that you can get these looks easily and quickly in Corel Draw and really impress your clients. So thank you for watching our introduction and if you're interested in taking a deeper look at how the Color Factory works you can check that all out here on our video tutorials page.